what we're trying to do in the Dorishka project is use the pump as turbine, which you can see over my shoulder here, to reduce pressure in the system. So it also does the same thing as these valves, reduces pressure, but it produces electricity as a byproduct of that. So in, in this technology it has a kind of a double benefit. It reduces pressure, reduces the amount of water wasted through uh, leakage reduction and also generates electricity. And this system is what we have put in place in the Black Stairs um, demonstration site and it reduces the energy consumption there by up to a quarter. And uh, we were excited to hear about this new technology that um, can harness the energy from the water and um, our committee which runs the scheme were um, eager to find out more and to um, see would our scheme be suitable for this project. So with some exchange of data and uh, more meetings etc, eventually in 2017 we had a feasibility study done by the Dürerische team. And while the, the feasibility study, I, study identified a number of places throughout the scheme that would have the potential to create energy, um, by far the best place was up at the treatment plant where there was the, the great head of pressure and also the, the volume of flow which was enough to generate um, 4.2 kilowatts of electricity. So the, right beside it then there was the treatment plant which had the use for this electricity so it's very important to have the, uh, the conditions to create the energy but you need a use for the energy nearby so it was an ideal location. What we have here is a pump turbine in the background and a pump turbine is nothing but a regular pump but working in reverse as a turbine with the attached motor working as a generator. And uh, why using pump turbine instead of regular turbine? The main reason is the cost is much, uh, is much uh, less uh, costly than a regular turbine especially down to the small scales of hydropower with micro hydropower let's say less than 100 kilowatt. Another big reason is the maintenance because uh, it's uh, quite uh, easy and off, off the shelf available spare parts uh, which is the same as a, as a pump indeed. So the, the ideal position to install uh, pumps as turbines in a water network then it would be in a bypass to some existing valves or at the inlet of, uh, of a tank as it is in this case in which we have water under pressure coming from the intake up the mountain and then flowing through the pump turbine and then into the tank. We, we learned a lot through the whole process. We learned that um, to put, uh, um, you know, somebody might have a great idea, but to get that up and running, you need so much input from all sorts of people, like from the academics, from the, the people that work with the water, from ourselves. Um, you know, it, there's a collaboration there that needs to um, continue over a number of years before you get a, a project actually up and running. And um, then the next phase, obviously, will be the uptake of other people to, to, to do this, uh, to avail of this technology. So it was, it was a great experience. We're delighted to have it here as a demonstration site at the Black Stairs Club Water Scheme. And uh, we hope maybe it'll open the possibility for maybe other projects that uh, might improve our sustainability. With the micro hydropower technology that we've implemented, we've managed to provide a solution that can improve how we manage our water supply and deliver water in a more efficient manner than ever before. Uh, it's really exciting to be involved in the Dureshka project. We're developing win-win solutions, reducing water losses due to leakage and recovering excess energy that would otherwise be lost. More importantly, it's not just a theory we're talking about. We've had the opportunity to put the technology into a real water network. That's what sustainable development is all about, taking ideas and making them a reality. A reality that saves water and energy and supports the call to climate action.